Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, we're going to look at uh, static NAT configuration. Remember in the previous class, we look into what we mean by NAT, the various types of NAT such as uh, static NAT, dynamic NAT and PAT. And today, we're going to learn how we can configure static NAT. Okay? So before we can configure a static NAT, guys, it's very very important to go for a recap and understand what we mean by static NAT. So static NAT, basically, a single private IP address is mapped onto a single public IP address. Okay, so it's one-to-one -one mapping between the local and global addresses. For example, whenever we have one of the devices that need to access internet we will need 100 public ip addresses okay because it's one-to-one -one mapping okay all right so guys also before we may begin kindly support my channel hit on the subscribe button like our video and drop a comment below all right so let's begin static nut configuration static NAT configuration so I'll just set a border okay I already drew a diagram here as you can see this is the internal user okay and we have the two routers here and the internet okay on the internet side we have the servers and the, these internal users need to access the servers okay and we need to implement network address translation through its mechanism static NAT okay and so therefore the static NAT configuration will be done on this router and before that is done there are some parameters that we need to configure first so let me comment the first thing that we need to configure is private and public IP addresses okay IP addresses okay then the second step guys you know there are two routers here and for them to allow the and for them to forward traffic there must be a routing protocol so routing protocol And in this case, we'll use OSPF. Okay. Then finally, we need to configure static NAT. So these are the steps. Step one is to configure private and public IP addresses. Step two is to configure the routing protocols to forward the traffic. Okay. And finally to configure static NATs. So basically guys we will need to go very fast. I'll start with step one IP addresses configuration.
Alright guys, so step one is done. What's basically is mining is the routing protocol. Okay, so that these devices on this side can be able to communicate with these devices on the other side. So I'll go to the route. I'll go and configure OSPF on both routers. So to configure SPF, I'll do it very fast because this these are what we have done in the previous classes. So So the two the two steps are done. IP configuration and routing protocol configuration. So let's verify if that these devices can be able to communicate with these devices. This one is 10.10.10.3. So I'll try to ping. Ping. as you can see the reply is uh, successful so basically what's remaining is to configure static NAT and guys this is the main subject in this class today configuration of static NAT how do we configure static NAT these are the steps that we need to follow to configure static NAT remember we're going to configure static NAT on this router here to configure static NAT we need to follow these steps okay the first step you enter this interface this interface was interface gig 0 0 okay and you hit enter after entering that interface you specify that this you specify that this is ip not inside as you can see it's inside our it's the inside not okay this interface here is the inside NAT. Okay, you space for interface gig 00 IP NAT inside. It's the inside NAT, as you can see, is the connecting inside. Okay, then you go come to the other interface. Let's say interface serial 0 slash 1 slash 0 and say IP NAT outside. Okay. This is the outside NAT, okay? This is inside NAT interface. This is the outside NAT interface, okay? All right. So after configuring that parameter, now you specify the private and public IP addresses, okay? Remember, this router here is the device that will translate the private IP address into public IP address. So what do you do? You just type IP not inside, okay? IP not inside source static. Then you type that private IP address. For example, this computer computer here was dot two, okay? So it's one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot one dot two, okay? And which public IP address do you want it to use to access the internet? Let's say it's 20 here now, okay? It will translate the private IP address into public IP address that is based on this network, okay? 20.0.0. Dot .0. Let's say 3 because here was dot one, here was dot two. So it will take from three to four, five, six, and so on and so forth. Okay. Now the first translation is done. And we have two devices here. We see it in static NAT, it's one to one mapping. So each device that is accessing the internet will be mapped into a unique public IP address. So we are done for mapping this one. So let's map for the other one. So I'll copy this one. And paste here so IP not inside okay inside source 
static source static this one so that one was dot three dot three and now we want this IP address this source IP address to use a particular public IP address to access the internet which which a public IP address let's say dot four okay so guys this is how we can configure NAT the first thing that you do is to enter the interface and specify whether it's inside or outside NAT for example this is inside NAT okay and this one is outside NAT after doing that now you specify a command for translation for example IP NAT inside source static this IP address this IP address is a private IP address and it will translate it into a public IP address of this one okay for example this PC zero here its IP address is dot two okay and to access the servers here it will use a public IP address of 20.20.3 very simple okay all right so let's go to the router and configure the same exit no interface gig zero slash zero okay and say ip not inside okay and you hit enter exit then interface serial zero slash one slash zero then say ip not outside okay and you hit enter exit right so we have specified that this interface is the NAT inside. This one is NAT outside. Okay. So let's do the translation. We say IP NAT inside source private. Sorry, source static. This IP address 192.168. 1.2 it should use 20.0.0.3 to access the internet okay and you hit enter another one so this computer here which is dot three i mean should use 20.0.0.4 to access the internet and do right exit and now guys let me show you something let me try to ping again. Let me try to ping again. It's pinging. It's pinging. So let me try to ping from this side also. Ping. One. It's 10.10.10.3. Okay. Good. It's pinging successfully. So let's verify our configurations. How do you verify our configuration? We specify a command called show IP not translations. Okay, so let's go to this router and see the translation. So show IP not trans translations and you hit enter. As you can see, guy, come down here. As you can see, here is inside local and inside global. Okay. If you don't understand what inside global, inside local, or outside local, and outside global means, we discussed them in the previous class. I will leave a link on the description part. Kindly click on the link and understand the four terms. Inside global, inside local, outside global, outside local, and outside global. So here are the translations. As you can see, 192 .168 .1 .2 this is a private IP address. It used this IP address, the public IP address, to access the internet. The same way dot three used 20.0.0.4 to access the internet. So these are the private IP addresses 192.168.1.2 and this one dot three. And now they are using these two public IP addresses to access the internet. Okay static not configuration pretty much simple just this simple command what you do first is to configure IP addresses to the interfaces then you configure the routing protocols and now finally NAT to configure NAT 
end of the interface for example this is a connecting interface to the internal users say it's IP NAT inside on this router okay then come to 0 0 0 slash 1 slash 0 and say it's IP NAT outside okay then do the translation IP NAT inside source for this computer should use this public IP address to access the internet the same way for this one and to verify the configuration type this command show IP NAT translation pretty much simple and guys basically that will mark the end of today's class please support our channel subscribe leave a comment below and like our video bye and see you again in the dynamic NAT configuration